DLH Nation. That's right. It's Aaron Morstead, Dumb Luck Hunter Outdoors. And yeah, I'm in line getting some breakfast real quick because my dad and I are going to go do something that I don't normally do. That's right. We're going to go sight in rifles. Yep. That's right. Sighting in rifles. And so I'm going to get me something to grind on. And then I'm going to go pick that old man up. And the next time you see me, we're going to be at the shooting range sighting in some rifles. And I'll let you know what they are when we get out there. Could be loud though. Sweet. See you in a minute. Uh, yep. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Dad's new 243 Winchester. His new 6.5 Creedmoor. The 243 is shooting better. <laughs> Let's take a shot. Oh, All wow. right, ladies and gentlemen. That's all right. We're out here at Cleveland Range Gun Ranges out in Banner, Oklahoma, which is just west of Yukon. And I'm taking a hundred yard walk and I'm not shooting very good. Of course, I haven't shot a gun in about four years. So let's, let's see where we're at. That right there is the hundred yard walk. And I'll talk to you about it when we get to the target. All right, so we're on our way to the target. Pop's not doing too good, so he's about to shoot, take his Creedmoor over to the 50 yard range and get it kind of on paper, and then here we go. Now, like I said, don't laugh at me, but anyway, here we go. All right, so this was my very first shot, but I couldn't see it because the way the light was coming through. So I shot this. This isn't bad grouping for the first time I ever shot in four years. And here's my first, the shot. I moved it a little bit, made my adjustments. So now I'm here and here. So I just need to come down a little bit more. About two more clicks. And we'll see where we're at. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with the fact that I'm shooting that good and I haven't shot in this long. <laughs> my dad, one target. There's his other shot here. <laughs> yeah, so you think he's off? Could you look and see if my target, I'm six o'clock low on that target? Huh? Six o'clock low. See if.
All right, so lighting sucks. So I'm going to have to aim at the top right instead of the top of the bottom right. So stay tuned. Yeah, I think we might, might, I'll, we'll give it to Rusty again and get him to make a decision on what, if he wants in, if he needs. Oh, snap. I still, even yeah. if it's, you know, knocking on 800 damn bucks. <laughs> yes. At least, well, at least half a case would, would still be a good deal. Half a case. Five bricks, you get your three, I get two. No, I wouldn't mind if Rusty wants a bunch oh. of two. Man. Oh, Max, sorry. Nice. I, All I, right. I can't about that, because I can't tell the difference really by the That was me, but it wasn't a bad, bad shot. I haven't had any misfires this morning. I'll fire. I mean, it's too good. I'm not firing again. Eventually, I'll get a new replacement. Get your titanium and put in. Might as well. What the hell? gentlemen we're bullseye half inch high because i want to make sure that i'm in at 200 it's zeroed in at 200 heck yeah stay tuned now we shoot the 270 all right ladies and gentlemen time for the 270 winchester breech load that's right single shot breech load it was my first deer rifle ever bought it when i was 16 check it out Let's see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go put up new paper for the 270. And we're gonna pull this paper over here for the 243 and see what we're doing. I hope I'm on. Otherwise I'm blind as a bat and I probably don't need to touch another gun and just shoot my bow. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, the 100 yard walk is over. Oh. That's, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. That one was the first one, second one. There it is, that's the one I want. Right. Good job. All right, first shot, 270. That's not good.
right trigger. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the 270 didn't fare too well. Um, when I first got it, the thing used to drive tax, but there's some, some issues and I'm going to have to take it into a blacksmith and stuff. Cause one is not ejecting the shell, right? Or at all, actually you get one good shot and then that's it. Uh, also, uh, it never even hit paper and that just makes me sick. Cause I mean that, like I said, that thing used to drive tax, but you know, it, it just didn't do it. So anyway, However, I'm happy with the 243. I thought I went and got pictures of the of the uh, of the the upper right part of the target, and I didn't get footage of that. I should have, because I thought I pulled that one shot, and I didn't. Both the both the shots were about a half inch high of dead center bullseye, both of them, and they were stacked on top of each other. So that 243 is dialed up. Um, of course I shot the rapid fire shots, you know, and it, it was funny cause it started off right or to the left and it went boom and boom and then center shot. But that's what you want. You want to make sure that you're, you're getting your shots there. Guys, I used to be trained at shooting and stuff, but it's not like riding a bike. You don't use your skills. You have to rebuild those skills again. You can't, you don't just expect after four or five years of shooting, of not shooting your gun to go out and just start driving tax. Now, some people can do that. Some people are that way. I am not. I have to train myself just like with my bow. I have to train myself every day and at least, you know, taking at least, you know, five, 10, 15 shots with my bow. Of course, you can't do that with a gun. You got to, you got to be, you know, you got to be right on. You've got to make sure you go do this. And so anyway, hopefully you like what you see. If you like what you see, hit your thumbs up. If you like what you see and you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. That way you get all my crazy videos. And thank you again for watching. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.